<laughs> well, congratulations to Emory Jones in Florida for hitting that miracle Hail Mary there at the end of the first half, which is pretty much the only offense Florida has had in this entire game. But, oh, my God, I don't know if there's a more destitute uh, program or offense in the SEC than Florida. They are absolutely horrible. Losing to LSU at halftime, it should be uh, it should be twenty one to six. It's going to end up twenty one to thirteen here. Uh, here's the extra point. Oh, they actually made an extra point that time. Florida missed their first extra point after missing one earlier in the season against the poverty program from Tuscaloosa. But my God, Florida is completely destitute. Dan Mullen's offense is pitiful. Back to back interceptions. Not just on two consecutive drives, but on two consecutive plays by two different Dan Mullen quarterbacks was the funniest thing I've seen all season long. Emily Jones comes out, throws an interception right on cue. LSU returns it down to the whatever, scores a touchdown. They kick off to Florida. Dan Mullen says, well, enough of this. He puts Anthony Richardson in. Anthony Richardson comes out. And then he throws an interception onto his first damn play. Uh, they return that one down there, score again. And the corn dog, the terrible, abysmal, pitiful, can't win a game, got blown out by Kentucky last week. Corn dogs are up on the Florida Gators, 21 to 13 at halftime. And again, if you're not watching the game, it should be 21 to six. Florida scored early, missed the extra point. Uh, Florida got the Florida had the ball with I, I shit I don't even know thirty seconds or whatever it was to go. They completed a couple of passes up to around midfield, and then with four seconds to go, they did a hail mary at the end of the first half and actually caught the thing. Uh, I don't know what LSU was doing in the end zone there. Uh, if you're not watching the Florida LSU game, try to find a highlight of the hail mary at the end of the first half and laugh at the LSU defensive backs. I don't know what they were doing, uh, but anyway, <laughs> Florida man, my God. Who's Florida play next? Oh, they're off next week. I don't even, I, I don't know who Florida plays after that. Somebody let me know in the comments section down below. But we got some good games going on. Uh, a lot of people all week long uh, had Michigan State on upset alert. And they're in a battle right now with Indiana uh, at halftime. Here, we'll check some of these. Uh, we'll check some of the uh, uh, scores. What else? Uh, Auburn and Arkansas, that game is close. Texas and Oklahoma State. Uh, that game is close. You know what's not close? Cincinnati. They are all over Central Florida, uh, 35 to 7. Uh, man, Cincinnati's not going to lose a the game. They're going to beat everybody they play like this. They're out not just to win games, they're out to try to prove a point. A point to who? The playoff committee, who starts meeting here in a couple of weeks. I, I don't know whether they'll get in or not, but man, they are going to absolutely destroy um, everybody they play in an attempt to try to get into the playoffs. And we'll see. They may get in. They may get into Pac-12. Looks like they're not getting in. Oregon is an absolute disgrace. Tied 10-10 to -10 last night with Cal. Cal's a one-win team. Oregon tied 10-10 to -10 with them entering the fourth quarter. Ended up winning 24-17. to No one from the Pac-12 was doing anything meaningful this year. How did Ohio State lose to Oregon? Man, that's gone from a good loss to a not-so-good-looking loss, hasn't it? Yeah. But, I mean, well, it's not Ohio State we're talking about. They're not even the best team in their own state. Uh, that's pretty sad, sad but true. Anyway, halftime of these noon games, and it looks like we're going to have some good endings. 14-10, to 10, Auburn up over uh, Arkansas at halftime. The Texas-Oklahoma uh, State game, like I mentioned, is close. Nebraska, shit, I thought Nebraska, instead of, lo instead of barely losing like they've been doing, I thought they might actually get a win today on the road at Minnesota. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. Nebraska's doing Nebraska things. Scott Frost doing Scott Frost things. Adrian Martinez doing Adrian Martinez things. But, my God, the story of the noon games is Florida, though. You know, I already got the two losses to the Gumps in Kentucky. Now, to come out – look, this is the worst LSU team we've seen in a long, long time. LSU hasn't had a losing season since, what, like 2001 or something like that? I mean, it's been almost 20 years. might have been over 20 years since LSU's had a losing season. I thought they were going to go 4-8. and eight. They might go 5-7, and seven, though. Because it looks like they might be uh they, they might be gonna beat Florida. I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see what happens in the second half. That Hail Mary in the first half is huge for Florida. Uh to cut this thing to a one possession game. But man, Florida is just destitute. Destitute. Dan the Clown Mullen. Let me know who they play next. I can't remember.